the Kim Mule Challenge Cup is next. It's a 0 to 140 handicap, three mile, one furlong. Run and skip. John Morgan, Little Rock Kingdom, Vinnie Gerard, Activist, Leon Van Rensburg, Giran Citizen, David Rawson, San Pedro, Paddy, Vinnie Gerard, The Go Between, Marty Little, Games Without Frontier for Patrick Hogan, Billa Tudor, Graham Clutterbuck, Noctolian, Robin, James Shea, Pokes and Annie, Marty Little, Dressed to Impress, Craig Beckwith, Tower Amulets, Graham Clutterbuck, and Vanishing, Paul Parsons. 13 this time then, this is the lowest graded of the three Gold Cup distance races. Well, it's the third of four, really, if you count the Hunter's Chase. And then a wine race, I'm not sure what that little bunch of flies or whatever they were were there that just flew away. That was interesting. Anyway, from <laughs> skipping the lead. Uh, it looks like we're going to get one of those races where a John Morgan horse is going to stretch them out. So get ready for some carnage, chaps. We've seen it already this week. Well, the John Morgan horse has got off into the lead and has left them falling in his wake. Well, it's run and skip. He's in front, Pokes and an Annie, who is a usual front runner, can't even get within three lengths of the lead at the moment as they get to the first of the 20. Tower Hamlet is in third. And a gap to Games Without Frontier in fourth. The Grey Vanishing is on the inside rail next. This is the water jump. The first of two times they're going to take the water. They'll take it again on their next circuit, which will be their final circuit. But it's a run and skip. He was in the lead by two. Pokes and Annie's now got to within two lengths. As they get over that one, Tower Amulets is third. Games without Frontier, fourth. And Little Rock Kingdom on the outside is fifth. The Grey Down on this near side is vanishing on the inside of Activist as they take the next. And Tower Amulets made a mistake, and there's a faller there. It's the go between. So that was one of my best chances for a win this week. And it's on the deck. Let's run and skip in the lead from Pokes and Annie in second. Tower Amulets is third. Games it out Frontier fourth as they take this ditch. And they're all safely over that one. Little Rock Kingdom and Noctolian Robin after that one. Dressed to impress is just getting a bit detached at the back as they take the sixth. And they're all safely over it. And run and skip. Well clear. My five lengths. Pokes out Annie second. Tower Hamlet's third. Vanishing fourth. And games it out frontier is after that one as they take the next. All safely over it, although dressed to impress is definitely struggling at the back. Struggling to go the pace, which is being set by run and skip. Pokes and Annie over it in second. Tower around its third, then a gap of four lengths to the grey vanishing. And games it out frontier. And Billa a Tudor. Little Rock Kingdom and Noctolian Robin. An activist and another gap and have a couple of links to San Pedro Paddy and Giran Citizen. And then a five length gap to the back marker dressed to impress as they head into the straight. They'll take the two in the straight and then head out for a final circuit and run and skip. Skips over it in the lead. Also flew over it. Pokes and Lanny and Tower Amnits together again there in second, but they've pulled Six lengths clear. Oh, run and skip nearly went there. Hit that one hard. And the lead is down to just a length. On oh, Pokes and Annie and Tower Amulet. So swinging away then from the stand. It's run and skip of the lead. Pokes and Annie is second and Tower Amulet is third. Big gap then to Vanishing in four and goes out Frontier five and Bitter Achuda six. Then Knocked Only and Robin is seven. This is eight. Little Rock Kingdom is nine. Then San Pedro Paddy, Giran Citizen. And finally, Dress to Impress. But it's run and skip. Three quarters of a length clear of Pokes and Annie, who's about a neck up on Tower Hamlets. They take this plain one. Tower Hamlets jumping past. Pokes and Annie and a four of their activist is gone. The activist has gone up the back as they head for the water. And it'll be Rudd and Skip who leads them over it the second and final time. They negotiate the water jump. Really good jump by Tower Hamlets in third place now is Pokes and Annie. Then there's a gap of four. Two games without Frontier and Noctoli and Robin, Little Rock Wingman and Billa Tudor vanishing is after that as they take this ditch and now it's Tower Hamlets who's jumped into the latest run and skip. He's either being given a mid-race breather or he's coming to the end of his tether. Between the two of them is Pokes and Annie, the three unversely in a line as they landed there. They're still five lengths clear of in fourth place Noctoli and Robin. 
There's still a mile to go, plenty of jumping still to be done. Pokes and Adani just pokes ahead into the lead from Tower Hamlets and Run and Skip there. Well clear of games without Frontier and Vanishing as they take this ditch. All safely over at Tower Hamlets, back into the lead again from Run and Skip and Pokes and Adani. And heading downhill in there. And it's Tower Hamlets and Run and Skip. This is the 16th. Over it they go. Run and Skip jump back into the lead as they head down towards the tricky fourth and third last. And it's Run and Skip in front. From in second place, Tower Hamlets. Pokes and Rani just dropping back now in third. Vanishing. Running on in fourth. G around Citizen seems to be going well in fifth. Then Napoleon Robin. This is the fourth last. Over that one, Run and Skip's got back into the lead. Run and Skip from Tower Hamlets. Pokes and Rani vanishing and G around Citizen. Then games it out Frontier and Napoleon Robin. They've only got three more to take. This is the tricky third last coming up. It's Run and Skip in the lead. Run and Skip will lead into it. From in second place now, Giran Citizen. Tower Hamlets is third. Then comes Games Without Frontier. Vanishing is next. Pokes and Annie's now beaten. Then Noctolian Robin is after that one. They've got a long run to the final two fences. And it's Giran Citizen who's taking it up. Giran Citizen's gone on by a length to Run and Skip in second. Tower Hamlets is third. The Grey Vanishing is running on in fourth. These four are clearing the rest of them away. Headed by Pokes on Annie is getting the second win, but they're coming down towards the second last. And Giran Citizen looking like if it stays on its feet, it'll win it. He's well clear now. Giran Citizen six to seven lengths clear as they race towards the final fence. And Giran Citizen pops over it nicely. Over it in second, he's vanishing, running on well from the back, knocked only and Robin. But it's Giran Citizen in the lead, but beginning to tire. And here comes Vanishing now with a strong looking run. Vanishing's coming with a run, so too's knocked only and Robin. Giran Citizen's got nothing left. It's Vanishing who takes it. Up. Here comes Noctolian Robin and Noctolian Robin and Vanishing. They're going to flash past the post together. It's got to be mighty close and it's on the non and I don't know which one of those has won. The angle is very deceptive. It looked like Noctolian Robin was going to get up and run away from Vanishing. But Vanishing was having none of it and we could have a debut win for Paul Parsons and his first Cheltenham Festival winner. We may have just had a Matt Cooper one in the race before. We may have got a valid. We have indeed. It's Paul Parsons gets a winner at the Cheltenham Festival with Vanishing. That's the sort of thing that makes you come back to play season after season. Nocdolian and Robin second for James Shea. Third was G Round Citizen for David Robertson, who looked all over the winner jump in the last run and skip, but John Morgan was fourth. And dressed to impress, ran on really well from the back to finish fifth for Craig Beckwith.